Hello everybody and welcome back to my Undertale playthrough. We're on today's episode, we're going to be going ahead and looking into somebody. Apparently, if I remember correctly, those Skella boys have been talking about some sort of fish guardian, or at least some lady called Undead. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and head through. Now, uh, last time we had talked through everyone, and I believe, yes, we went on to hang out with Papyrus, of all people. And like I said before, this, uh, well, the last episode was the end of the session. So this is a new session, going ahead and do the recordings on. But for the time being, let's just go ahead. Oh, uh, damn, I need to stock up. I should probably do that. Okay. A bit of a detour. Ah, uh, yes, there was one thing I did forget. Um, one of the things I didn't do was go ahead and check out the inn. Now, as we were told, we could go ahead and just take a rest for the night. Welcome to the Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is... Uh, you don't ha even have ADG? Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of those rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Apparently that worked. <laughs> That sounds like bees. No, it sounds like an actual chip. And after enough rest, hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. I changed voices, which is incredible. You're only up there for about two minutes. Feel free to come back whenever. Or, uh, yeah, uh, darn those English lessons. Feel free to come back if you're if, if you get tired. Did that actually work? Yes, it did. Okay, because the idea is that if you sleep there, then what you get to do is you get like 10 extra HP, which is actually pretty interesting. Since again, we only slept for like two minutes. But now we actually further along, or go ahead and further our journey. Last time we faced off the pirates here. <clears throat> so we'll get to hold and see what the rest of this world contains. Yeah, yeah, just gonna follow the ice. Now we One thing that would be interesting is finding out where that, because there's the boat guy. I just look for that. This is the Arctic floor. Completes the right. Toriel, this is an echo flower. It repeat it, re it repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Hey, monster kid. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Ah, sir. She's the coolest, right? I want to just be like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save here. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's hang out sometime. Alright, let's hang out again sometime. Again. Okay, let's go ahead and use the box. Uh, yeah. I don't think I need any of this right now. Yeah. So now we gotta actually dodge the heart. Apparently you don't have to dodge this. I swore I saw something behind that rushing Ah uh, yeah. The famous um what is it? <laughs> Thing in the middle of the waterfall. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Now let's see if I can't die. There we go. I can't not die. This is a box. You can put an item in, or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're, when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Oh, I think that might have been a note on the first one. But... There we go. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah. You got the old tutu. 
So now let's go ahead and equip that. Oh, two, two. Oh, it's got ten. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. You equipped the belt too, too. Uh, it has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. That's good. No! Okay, let's go drop that off in the box. That way we're not carrying around too much. I don't know. I don't think I need the stick anymore. Because the whole point of the stick was that um, the dogs, you could easily manipulate them to not attack you. <laughs> ah, they're foul. Uh, hi, Undyne. God, that's way different. <laughs> it was... <clears throat> hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you earlier. But earlier. Huh? Did I fight him? Uh, yes, of course I did. <laughs> I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard and I, but in the end, I failed. But what? You're going to take the human soul for yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy it. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. the eye. Monster kid, what are you doing here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Aw, oh, poor kid. Alright, go and save. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I know the instant I say this, we're gonna get an uh, encounter, but there hasn't been that many enemies right now. I don't think I've had an encounter as of yet. But again, like I said, jinxing oneself. One forward. God, even the signs are taking our English lessons. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Alright. Go. There we go. Again, talking my way out. Uh, I think it's used to flex on him. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for two two. two. Flexing causes us. Okay, flex more. Oh yeah, like I said, I'm it's been at least a week, so I'm gonna be really rusty. Don't. Okay, yeah, you gotta just keep flexing. You flex harder. He flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You flex, Eric flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You earned nothing. And 30 gold. Alright. Here we go. So these guys, if I remember correctly, you need to do it like that? Or I might have just screwed it up. I did, didn't I? Okay. No, okay. So that's how you're supposed to do it. What you're gonna do, do as I initially was doing, but that's some good music. At least. 
Hopefully you can still hear me over the orchestra. There we go. And then this just says to ring the bell. If an error is made, the bell blossoms can call uh, bridge seeds back to where they started. Now, if I remember correctly, we gotta look at ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? Well, I called you earlier, but it was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. In a hand. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought, she thought, she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What we say, no. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You are my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars and sky. If you hope with all your heart, your wish will come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones in the sea. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh no. You. How do we do you? Uh, I guess we clean? You ask Watch the Earth to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Tweet. Free me clean. I don't know. Don't have that. Well, now I need healing. You're rinsing off a pizza? Green means clean. Washer wonders if tears are sanitary. No. At least not human ones are salty. Kind of just like the. Just like the Overwatch group. Anyway. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I would see the star, the real star of Look through the telescope? Sure. Uh, check wall. Ah, you know, these are pretty nice, like, uh, shiny things. Uh, which wall? Ah, see what my horoscope is the same as last week. Okay, it wanted me to check the wall. They're talking about the yeah, Aztec. There we go. Two. Okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. So you can just make other words. The War of Humans and Monsters. That was short. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one equal, uh, one weakness. Ironically, it's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drug. Got that all from text? And it looks like we're still going. Uh oh. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of screwed.
Dun. Aw, monster kid. Well, you almost got a black eye. Alright, let's go ahead and head out. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I've never washed my face again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll see her again. Aw. Alright. Well, looks like it's going to be the conclusion of this one. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around. It's stuck to the table. Anyway, let's go ahead. Squeak. Alright. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystery or mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Alright. So it looks like that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in and all that jazz. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said before, subscribe, like, comment down below, and all that jazz. But other than that, have a great day.